Hey Aquarius, what's going on? I hope you're super well. My name is Madame Butterfly and this is going to be messages from your person for October Aquarius, but it's timeless, you know, so whenever you happen to get it is when you were meant to get it. Thank you so much for being here with me. You are so welcome here Aquarius. Um, you know, if you find the reading resonates with you, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. God, my hands are freezing. Um, it's like 10 degrees where I am today. It's so cold. Oh, look at that. You have the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles on the split. Interesting. Um, I'm not actually doing personal readings at the moment, Aquarius, but if you were looking for a personal reading, I can recommend my sponsor, Keen who are an online network of psychics. They are open 24 hours a day, which is awesome. Um, you can choose which, if I can talk, you can choose which psychic you would like to talk to. And if you head over to trykeen.com forward slash Madam Butterfly, you get your first 10 minutes for $1.99. So uh, thank you very much Keen to, for sponsoring this uh, reading. Um, yeah, highly recommend them. So Aquarius, I'm going to start off with some, a couple of cards for you and then we're going to get into your person. So what's going on with Aquarius, please, Spirit? Okay, you have the Six of Pentacles, you have the Seven of Wands, and you have the Ace of Swords. Okay, there might be a little bit of a breakthrough here in you allowing people to help you. <laughs> like, I know you guys are super independent. Um, but I feel here, see with the Six of Pentacles here and the Seven of Wands, I just, and the, the Ace, um, sorry, why don't I show you the cards? So you have the Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Wands. So I just feel like maybe you're kind of allowing people to help you a little bit more. Like you might be share, you know, you might be finding that you're kind of naturally sharing things with people a bit more. Um, things that you naturally, like you maybe wouldn't have done it before. Um, you know, which is an air sign thing in general, but you have the temperance thing and the empress here. What did I say? The temperance thing. You have the temperance card <laughs> and the empress here. So there's something here about feeling a lot more calm, not rushing into things. Yeah, there's a kind of like a peacefulness here. Like you, you're not feeling the need to be so, not that I'm saying you're defensive with people, but you're not feeling the need to be quite so independent as you usually are. You know, you might, like I said, you might be sharing your feelings with people a lot more. There's just a sense here of feeling quite calm. And also like a lot of self-love, you know, you might have found yourself suddenly in a kind of new perspective on how you think about yourself, which is kind of this empress energy of, um, yeah, like feeling really peaceful, having a lot of self-love. Maybe you've realized certain things about yourself recently, like about your self-worth and what you deserve. You might have also kind of decided here, you might have had some kind of revelation that you're giving too much to people in the past, you know, so you've decided like, no, no, like people are going to come to me now. Like I'm not chasing anyone, like I'm not oversharing with, you know, um, how much I like people, you know, they can come to me, right? I feel like maybe there's a bit of that going on here. Right, what is going on with your person? What's going on with Aquarius's person? Oh wow, you see this? Eight of sor uh, Wands is randomly facing the wrong way around. So it looks like you're getting communication from someone here, Aquarius, the Eight of Wands. This is the overall energy for the reading. Yeah, I saw him <laughs> at the bottom of the deck and I didn't take him. Looks like there's an Emperor type energy coming in for you here, Aquarius. 
Um, it looks like you're about to get some communication from this person or you're about to, like you might go somewhere and you meet them. The Eight of Wands is either kind of communication or it's like, because I feel like this was in one of your readings recently, something about travel, like you were deciding to travel. So some of you might meet this person when you travel because the Eight of Wands can be about that as well. It's about movement, but it, it tends to be kind of fast. The Eight of Wands. Um, with the Emperor, you could be dealing with someone where there's a slight age difference. They could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, but it's really someone who embodies the energy of the Emperor, which is somebody very grown up, um, somebody very loyal, somebody who wants to be settled. You know, the Emperor is someone who's kind of been there, done that, bought the t shirt, and they're ready now. Like they're ready to be settled down now. You know, they could be some kind of, um, you know, the emperor tends to represent someone kind of successful, you know, so you're not dealing with a bum here, Aquarius. Let's see what else comes out. Well, that's no good to me. <laughs> Just uh, flinging cards at me is no good to me. We're going to do a Celtic cross today, please, Spirit. So what's going on? with Aquarius' person. Um, the Emperor can also represent somebody you already know leveling up. Okay. Well, that's interesting. You have the Six of Pentacles in your little spread there and they're, they're showing up as the Six of Pentacles. So it could be that you gave far too much to this person in the past and then you stopped because you had some kind of realization here. <laughs> That you were giving too much to them. You know, maybe you were um, quite clear with them about your feelings or something. You might have even been giving this person money. But this, it looks like they're coming in to reciprocate here with the Six of Pentacles. It looks like they're coming towards you. That is so weird that you both have that. You had the Ace of Swords, they had the Ace of Swords. This person is being guided to talk to you. There's some kind of revelation for this person, like this person's having some kind of brain smart, like some kind of revelation here. They've had their eye on you for a while. You've got the Ten of Swords for this person in their near future. They re wow, look at this. This is how they see themselves with the, the Knight of Pentacles here. So they see themselves as like slowly but surely coming to make you an offer. They are aware that they're slow. Six of Swords, yeah. There is something here about movement. This person might live far away from you. Not that far. They might live a little bit away from you and they're traveling to come and see you. Because I see three cards of travel here, and again you have it here with this Ace of, uh, sorry, the Eight of Cups. I think they're worried they've left this too late. I've picked this up in your readings before, Aquarius, with this Five of Cups here. There's something to do with like how it ended with you two, or like the way that you think of them from how from the past or something like that I think they're worried about here and you have the hanged man in the near future so you might wait uh, in the outcome you might make this person wait for an answer so six of pentacles your person is showing up as the six of pentacles crossed by the eight of cups so see how he's traveling here someone could be traveling to come and see you or it could be like you know, making the move, like making making the move to reach out, you know, if I can talk. <laughs> Thank you, Mercury Retrograde. Um, we're nearly out of Mercury Retrograde, I think. I think it's not much longer, hopefully. <laughs> Is that true? Somebody tell me that's true. Um, yeah, Six of Pentacles here, there's an, it's a reciprocation. You know, I feel like maybe you reached out to this person in the past and they're coming back in to, yeah, reciprocate. Like if you told them how you feel, they're coming in to tell you how they feel. 
or something something of the sort. Um, you have the Ace of Swords here in their advice position, so they are being asked to talk to you, Aquarius. They literally just threw half the deck at me, but um, it's this one we're looking at. You have, this is part of their advice, you have the Eight of Swords with the Ace of Swords. So this person has been stuck in their head, they've been overthinking this, let me just get the rest of the cards. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's taken this person some time and they're aware that it has because I just saw the Seven of Pentacles here. They've definitely hung back with this King of Wands in their past position. This might not necessarily be with you, um, it could well be. I do sense some kind of familiarity here. I mean, it is messages from your person, so I'm assuming you know them. Um, but they've definitely been stuck in their head. You are dealing with someone here who I think is very careful you know the emperor tends to go and get what they want but they don't rush <laughs> you know what i mean it's the emperor they don't rush male or female they do not rush um yeah but they're being advised here to just get out of their head and just make this phone call or like make this communication or come towards you in some way this is either with you or it's a pattern with this person, like they have a pattern of holding back until like it's too late, you know what I mean, or till, until a lot of time has passed here. You could be dealing with a Virgo, you could definitely be dealing with fire, Air, um, Aries Leo Sag. There's a little bit of earth in here too. Kind of looks like this person's they're either working on their money or they're grinding themselves. I actually see that this, this whole thing has been about making this offer to you. See how that Knight of Pentacles, see how he's holding his little pentacle there? And she's considering the offer down here, right? So it's very possible um, this person sees you as like a potential mother figure here, like in the future. You guys could already have children. You know, and the, but there's something here about coming forward to make you this offer. I think they're quite worried about whether or not you're going to accept it here. But there is movement away um, from, see another movement card. This person could be physically traveling over water to come and see you. Um, or they could be, it doesn't have to be over water because you have walking here, but it could be over water with this card. But it looks like someone's it's like moving forward towards you in some way. But they are worried that you're not going to accept the offer. Okay. Kind of looks like they've been keeping their feelings to themselves a lot here, but they've been manifesting a commitment with you. They might have been working on their finances to buy a home, because I just saw the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. So it might be like, you know, they've been working on trying to buy a home for you guys or just for themselves, you know, just generally they just wanted that stability. They are aware they've been slow here though, Aquarius. Um, wow. I do see a lot, I do see a lot of commitment coming in for you guys in the near future. Um, so you have this Ten of Swords with the Nine of Swords here in the near future. So there's some kind of ending to overthinking and worrying because you are definitely dealing with someone who is an overthinker, who worries a lot. Um, but I see an end to that in their future here. And I also see, I don't know if you can see the cards, the Hierophant, wow. The Hierophant, the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. So the Hierophant is, there's certainly an offer of a commitment here. There could be something to, more to do with travel, like this person might want you to travel with them or something like that, but it's just a, it's a decision that you're going to have to make here, Aquarius, because this person is coming in, I'm just noticing the layout of the cards here, you have the Ten of Pentacles here, sorry, the Ten of Cups here, the Ace of Cups and the Seven of Cups in the in the near future. So. You know, you have two aces in your near future. You have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. So this person is coming in to offer you a new phase in the relationship. 
you know, they want to start it again. Um, or just start it, like it could be someone you already know and you guys haven't had a relationship at all and they want this, they want to start something with you here and with the Ten of Cups and the Hierophant, they want a commitment, okay? And then you have the Two of Wands with the Seven of Cups here, which is, it's a decision on your part because this person is coming in to make you this offer and it's a decision on your part. Like you might have multiple offers here with that Seven of Cups or it might just seem too good to be true or maybe you're just not sure you want to be tied down at the moment god look at that that's crazy that's cray cray <laughs> that's cray 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 that's three crays um sorry that's from bob's burgers you have the six of cups the two of cups and the knight of cups could be a water sign you have all the signs here aquarius um someone from your past with the six of cups and the two of cups, it's a soulmate. You're dealing with a soulmate here. Someone who's coming forward to lay, lay it on the line here. It's, it's taken a while for this person with the seven of pentacles and the fool. <laughs> um, there's certainly a slow moving energy. You have the magician here. So they're finally taking action here towards you. Clarify that hanged man, please. Clarify the hanged man, please. Okay, I see the hermit here as well. And the high priestess with the four of cups. Yeah, you might be kind of defensive about this offer. The four of cups, I saw it in the deck, okay. You have the hanged man, the queen of swords, the high priestess and the hermit and the queen of wands down here. I just think you're gonna make this person wait because I think you're going to have to ruminate on this for some reason. You're not letting this person in immediately. With the High Priestess, like you might be kind of stoic with this person, you know what I mean? You might not let a lot, excuse me, like you might not give this person a lot. And with the Six of Pentacles here, I feel like it's because maybe you overgave, to, I know that's not a word, <laughs> gave too much to this person or other people in the past. This person is coming, it's, they, they're very generous though with the Six of Pentacles here. This is someone who genuinely wants to be able to give to you. I feel like, you know what they're giving me is um, this person has genuinely been kind of focused on money. I do feel some of you might be dealing with an earth sign or they, they have a lot of earth in their chart. They've been focusing on like making a name for themselves. They've been focusing on making money um, because I feel like they didn't want to come towards you without being able to offer you something proper. I do feel this person's had their eye on you for a while. See, I don't know if you can see this. It's so cute. I've just noticed that the bottom of the deck you have the queen of wands. And you have the king of wands in the past. So see the way they were sitting? He's just legit staring at her. <laughs> like, um, I really feel this person's had their eye on you for a while. But I do think it's, I think it's been something to do with money that's not, that's made them not come forward. Um, but yeah, with the high priestess here, I just don't know if you're gonna, and the hermit, you definitely gonna be thinking about this. You're gonna be using your intuition. But I also think, yeah, with the Queen of Swords and that High Priestess, there's an element here of like, mm, maybe. Because <laughs> I feel like you've got yourself into this Empress mode and you're like, you know, I don't know. I kind of like being single, biatch. Like, what you got to offer me? Like, you know, what, how are you gonna make my life better? You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some time to think about this, you know? Like with the Queen of Swords here, it's like, eh, like I'll listen to you, but you know. Yeah, maybe I'll leave you hanging for a little while. And I don't feel like you're doing it on purpose to be like mean to this person. I feel like it's a genuine with the Queen of Wands here. Like you've kind of stepped into, you know, recognizing your own power, recognizing your own authority. And I gotta say, with the Queen of Wands here, like you might be very used to being single, you know? 
Um, so, yeah, at the moment you might just be kind of enjoying your life, you know, because the Queen of Wands is very like that. You know, she's like a social butterfly, she's got lots of friends, she's very focused on her career. Um, some of you might meet this person through writing. I just, with the Eight of Wands there, that can be writing. And the Queen of Swords was there too. Some of you might meet through teaching. Uh, okay. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, Queen of Wands energy, um, or you might have, you might be in the spotlight in some way with this Queen of Wands energy, and like they see you from afar. You could be a journalist, or something that involves like tra you know travel writing or something like that. But anyway, um, yeah, with the Queen of Wands, like it's an energy of being very independent, be you know just kind of being happy with where you are. Also, you might have been a little burned in the past from previous relationships, so it's like one of those situations where you're like, I don't know, if you really want to get into my world, like you're going to have to really show me <laughs> that you're like, you know, you are who you say you are and you're not going to waste my time and you're not going to upset me. Because, you know, with Queen of Wands, it's like, you know, when I'm single, I'm fine. It's when you, you come in with your you know, effery, <laughs> that things start to go awry, so, but I feel this person's like really, really into you, they, they really see you as someone very, very suitable for them, Aquarius, it's almost, I kind of see it, I always, I always see these guys here as like, he's really into her, <laughs> and she's kind of daydreaming about something else, you know what I mean, and it kind of, you know what I mean? I always feel with this couple, he's more into her. You know, at the start, anyway, you know. Yeah, but the, this person certainly sees you as someone that could be like the one for them. Sorry if you can hear that random noise, it's my heating going on and off. It's not supposed to go on and off, it's just broken. Right, you have, I'm a little suspicious of you, so this could be you. Aquarius, you're being a little suspicious of this person for some reason. Um, okay. They think the world of you, yeah, with the Queen of Wands, because that's someone who thinks you're very fiery, very independent, very passionate, very attractive. <laughs> like, very, very attractive. This person really wants to get this, like, they want a commitment with you. They might be quite traditional with that Hierophant energy. Okay, you have dealing with my issues here. So this could be why they haven't come forward before. You have you are my sunshine. You have I think about you all the time. I swear it's the same cards that come out of this deck over and over. Um, I think you are amazing. The King of Wands as well is, you know what, they're very charming. See when you have the Emperor and the King of Wands, you could be dealing with someone that like leads a team. Um, they could be like a business owner. The King of Wands can actually also represent something to do with travel. You know, like um, this person might travel for work or they themselves could be a travel writer um, or something like that. Something like that. The King of Wands can represent travel. He's an excellent speaker though. And you do have this Eight of Wands here. So, like, they could be some kind of speaker or some kind of communicator. Because the King of Wands is an excellent communicator. And it's maybe because you're in the public eye for some reason as well that they think you're perfect for them. Because they do. This person thinks you're perfect for them. What else, please? Let's get a couple more here. What would Aquarius's person like them to know, please? What would Aquarius's person like them to know, please? Okay, you have there's someone else here. So they might think that you have someone else here, actually, is why you have this Seven of Cups here. They might think that you have other options. Yeah, I think they're worried they've left it too late and you have money and legal problems here. So they've definitely been saving up money. 
maybe there was someone else in the past Aquarius but they're, they're long gone now by the looks of things because I don't see any third party energy here but I really feel like this is more they think that you have other options if I'm being honest here because didn't I say that at the start like this person might have been kind of worried that you'd um like they'd left it too long so anyway Aquarius I'm gonna leave it there I hope you enjoyed the reading it was an absolute pleasure to read for you um thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for me if it did resonate with you take care Aquarius lots of love